Hello, John Neal here with vlog number 95. Oh, I hate that when that happens. I've got so much sticking on my head. Things hanging off the roof. Right, um, today I'm going to show you how to reconstitute and make better some old candles. You've probably got old candles from uh, Christmas time, um, like this. They're all sort of worn out and horrible. Um, but there's a certain amount of wax there. You end up with uh, lumps of wax. And what I'd like to do is show you how I could, you can make a candle. Uh, this has got some bits in it actually. I'll show, I, can, I can show you how to do that. Um, but it may, it's just a straightforward wax candle. So it's um, quite a simple process really. And basically what you have to do is melt the wax, pour it into a new mold. Here's the mold that I've got. You can get various sorts of these. And, uh, and then make a new candle. And um, while I'm at it, you could actually put them straight into a sort of a, a jar like this and put um, wicks in it straight away. And it's got a little um, seat at the bottom of it look, that will sit in the bottom of the glass. And hold it in place that's quite an easy way of doing it i'm not overly keen on these wax candles with um sitting in a glass but they're very safe i must admit um and when i do burn candles i nearly always sit them inside um a little pot like this of some sort um which is a good idea so what you're going to need is some way of melting the wax the first thing you've got to do, of course, <clears throat> is put on the magic apron from which I get all my powers. So, uh, this is uh, what we're going to use. Um, right, I've, I've created this little area in my workshop. Ignore all the other stuff, that's for leather work, that's for woodwork. Um, there's some other woodworky things. Um, this is the kettle it's a wax kettle and to be honest without one of these you're going to struggle a bit you can see sort of one pot inside another and you heat it up with water and it's not a particularly easy way of doing it so I would keep away from that if I were you if you can smuggle one of these out of the kitchen so much the better because when you put all the bits of wax in here as you can probably see you end up with a lot of bits and pieces old um, bits of ash and oh, all sorts of stuff so I'm just pour this in here and there's all the rubbish in the bottom which I want to get rid of so that's the most of it just give it a quick wipe out with a little bit of paper it's not overly hot I don't know what it's, and it's not boiling point, it's probably about 80 degrees, 80 degrees Celsius is all it is, so it's not too bad. Right, with that out of it, it looks a bit grey to be honest, but we'll try it. At least it's got no bits in it. And uh, I'm going to pop in a few more pieces of wax. Here's some more going in some slight I'll tell you what I might hang on to that and that it's got some color in it right the next thing to do while that melts is to just prepare this uh, mold so just put that to one side and take a few minutes to 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 work this mold I'm going to use is a metal one you can get some plastic ones which are okay uh, but I find this one's uh, quite a nice one, it's a favourite of mine. I'm going to work <laughs> inside a container like this. Let me just put all these bits in as well. Old bits, try and avoid putting the wicks in. The reason I work inside of um, a dish of some sort like this is so that if anything of it spills or you, you make a mistake and it all goes slightly wrong, you contain it within this uh, old frying pan right now there is the mold we need 
a wick. Now I bought these wicks, it's a bit of trial and error to get the right wick for what you want to use. These are fine, it's a matter of how thick the, the wick is to how big the candle is as to whether it burns properly. I found that this one does work well. I'll try to look for a size on it, but it doesn't say. But um, it's, I'll just check how thick it is. It's 1.8 millimeters thick. And it's got one of these um, little bases on, which would sit, as I've said just recently, it'll sit inside a glass. So you fill the hole up with wax and sit that in then hold the the wick in place and it'll all um, set nicely. I'm not going to use that method. This has got a hole in the bottom and I'm going to put that through there. That's going to be the top of the candle there and this will be the bottom. Right, two things I need to do. One is to make sure that the bottom of the mould is going to hold the it's got a hole in it I've got to make sure the wax doesn't come out so I've got some blue tack which is um, I don't know what you call that in other parts of the world it's a sticky putty sort of thing that you use in the kitchen and for stationery for sticking things together and press that and nice and tight to hold the bottom actually it'll be the bottom because it's going that way up but that is the top of the candle right just show you again so that's come out of there and that's where the top is right the other end you now need to hold the w the wick in the middle and what I'm using here is just a little slip of wood which sits across the top of the mold and then I'll put put a slot in it so that just goes across there and I'll just bend that over this is waxed wick actually so you can put it in place quite easily Right, let's keep that all in there, so if it spills it's alright. Um, this is uh, nearly all melted, but I can go for it now already, that's alright. So, let me just show you how. No, one moment. If you send to a, a, a wax candle maker supplier, you will end up with... Um, the choice of getting some dyes and this is all looking a bit I can never own uh, look at these little bags they annoy me they're very difficult to I can't do it I'm going to cut it right uh, this is an orange dye so this is wax which is um, got a quite a thick dye in it so you don't need a, a huge use a huge amount of it so this little piece here, I'm going to pop in there, and I'll just put it um, a bit more in as well. Let's say that. Again, this is a matter of trial and error, and I, I know that it's fairly strong stuff, um, and it's not it's not cheap. This, but it's not expensive. It's not too expensive. So I'll put all that much in. That's got to melt as well properly. Put that back in the eye container and let's just give all this a bit of a stir so everything melts together and get an even colour while that's doing that let me just tell you about this one you can see here I've got some other pieces in and what I did was I broke up a candle and then dropped it in there so you've got lumps of wax inside and uh, that fills up the mould quite quickly and then you pour this wax around it and uh, it, it, it saves a bit of melting of wax right that's gone sort of orangey colour which is a bit better than it was anyway so here we are been dyed I think the dyes all changed right now if I let the sediment if there is still any in there sink to the bottom as I pour off it will be clean wax going in Right, so the bottom is well secured. I'll just move this to one side. There's a tiny spout there. I'll gently pour this in there. If it's to all leak now, it might go over the bench, but as I say, I've got it in this dish. 
lovely. Now I can centre up the the wick and what will happen now is I'm just going to put a little bit more in get right to the top. Now you might think that's the job done. No, because what happens is as the wax sets it shrinks and there will be a cavity form inside. So I'll just keep this maybe an hour or two. The temperature today, by the way, is about in here because I've just turned the heater off. It's about only four or five degrees. Uh, outside it's two degrees Celsius, I'm talking. Um, so that will cool quite quickly and set. And when it sets, it will all disappear inside. But I'll show you that when we get there. Right, this is after a, an hour or so and it's quite cool. Actually, this is warm still, but you can see inside here there's quite a cavity emerge because the wax when it uh, sets shrinks so I can probably take this uh, off that's not going to matter anymore and I only want the wax so I'm going to cut that off as well and now I'm just going to get some more of the wax and pour it in there and fill that up You can see it all bubbling down to the bottom there. And that should be enough. It will shrink a little bit more, but not too much to make a problem. Okay, let's wait for that to uh, set. Well, here we are much later. That's quite cold now. Let's just take the blue tack off the top of there. And since it's going that way, I will cut off that piece of uh, wick. I can feel it's come loose already. Uh, these metal uh, moulds are very, very good. The plastic ones can tend to stick, but this one's all ready to go. Here we go. There you have it. A nice new candle from Old Wax. To get the bottom nice and square again, just pop it back in the kettle and get the bottom melted nice and flat. And then that can stand in a container. And away you go. You go have a posh box to light it with. Well, there you have it, folks. A nice new candle made from all the scrappy bits. Am I going to cut? Ah, come into focus. <laughs> Lovely. Um, yeah, quite easy to do. But you just need one or two decent things, like the kettle um, to melt the wax properly. I, I'm looking for one on the internet. I can't actually find one straight away, but probably cost about um, 30 quid. Very useful. And uh, some decent molds. And uh, a pack of uh, wicks. You can buy a, a whole length of it, but I found these are very good. They're burning extremely well. So and there's lots of other ways that you could decorate the um, outside of these. I've got one here which um, I poured some extra wax on. Or you can indeed scratch some designs in. But as it is, that's okay, just like that. Okay, I'll see you next time. Making candles, whatever next.